uh, responsibility to speak a few words um, on his academic pursuits. Uh, you know, uh, Professor G.C. Naik is a very renowned scholar, professor, uh, professor, administrator, orator, and columnist, uh, not in our state, but in the country. Uh, he is also internationally uh, reputed, uh, reputed uh, in different fields. Uh, uh, and when we uh, um, see the academic journey of Professor Naik, uh, many things will come up. Uh, Professor Naik joined as a lecturer in uh, PG Department of Philosophy, Utkala University in 1958, where he retired in the year 1995. Within this, uh, Professor Naik acted as the professor and head PG Department of Philosophy, Utkala University. He also acted as the Vice Chancellor, Sri Jagannath Sanskrit University, Puri, visiting professor to Nagarjuna University, visiting professor to University of Sakit Chewon, Canada, senior fellow, ICPA, UGC Emeritus Fellow to Banaras Hindu University, Senior Fellow in Institute of um, Advanced Study, Simla, and many more institutes that I do not want to reflect upon due to positive time. And Professor Naik has many publications to his credit uh, uh, to reflect upon some of his uh, publications. Uh, I can recite that below, uh, his, uh, his book, a philosophical reflection, evil, evil karma, the reincarnation, essays in analytical philosophy, Bharatiya darshan, Upanishad darshan, darshanika drushtire, darshanika chintan, madhyamika shunyata, evil and retributive hypothesis, philosophical enterprise and scientific spirit, understanding religion, religious phenomena, and uh, many more books. A uh, professor and I has also edited uh, five um, books and uh, he has contributed more than 300 articles to the uh, world of philosophy. He delivered uh, hundreds number of lectures in different seminars in national level and international level. He organized a large number of seminars in our country and he is a regular columnist. He, uh, he has also been awarded um, with uh, many uh, felicitation and uh, uh, citation. Uh, Professor Nye is awarded with uh, Woodburn uh, uh, Prize in 1954, Pandit Jagannath Mishra Memorial Prize, Nandarani Medal for obtaining highest mark in Indian philosophy, Rashtriya Sanskrit Shaman, eminent scholar in philosophy honored by ICPA, Lifetime Achievement Award by ICPA, and a many more hours are conferred upon him for his uh, large contribution to the world of uh, philosophy. And uh, with this, I may request Professor Naik to commence his speech. Today, uh, I also welcome Professor Dr. Basant Kumar Das, because Basant Kumar Das is his student. And today, Dr. Basant Kumar uh, Das will assist uh, uh, Professor Naik in uh, delivering uh, his, sp uh, his speech. Uh, uh, now I also welcome him. I welcome all the teachers to be partic to uh, participate in this uh, digital platform. Uh, with uh, with this, I request uh, Professor Dr. Basant Das to help our teacher and teacher of teachers, Professor Naik, to start his speech. Questions are help current. वसुदेव सुतं देवं कंस जानूर मर्दन देव की परमानंदं कृष्णं वंदे जगत गुरुं 
और giving me this opportunity to be with you and listening to first of all my great friend professor esar bhat here who is a truly great scholar the high the spiritualized person now योर वॉइस इज क्वाइट ऑडिबल सर वी कुड हियर यू डियर फ्रेंड्स टेक्निकल डिफिकल्टी बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ आई आई एम बीइंग डिस्टर्ब फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल पे पे माय रिगार्ड्स टू प्रोफेसर एस आर भट्ट फॉर गिविंग मी दिस ऑपरचुनिटी टू बी विथ यू एंड लिसनिंग टू हिम एंड दिस हैज बीन मेड पॉसिबल बिकॉज of this philosophy family which has arranged this meeting today is a very auspicious day the day of the birth of a great personality professor radha krishna i pay my gratitude and obeisances to this great soul who was the first vice president of india and the second president of this country and this was made possible because of his scholarship and today is a special day for me because i am in the company of great philosophers educationists here and this has been made possible let me name some of them for because of my good friend professor bosant das who has taken a great deal of pain in managing this meeting professor basandas who has made this possible for me otherwise it would not have been possible second thing the first lecture that has been given by a person who is not only true to his very dearest to my heart he was responsible for my getting the award in 2017 the lifetime achievement award by icpr this is personal true recognition of a merit true but who is professor sir bhat whom you find today speaking to us
I am reminded, now I will start with Vedanta Darshan. Then I will go to the Gurus. I am now starting with the first shloka, the first letter, the first line of Vishnu Satpadi by the great, greatest of our Acharyas. I want to I want to listen to my own lecture, you see. Professor Bhatt has given us a lecture which is surely an unparalleled according to me because it is coming from the inner soul and Abhinayang Apana Vishnu. First of all, it is devoid of the Abhinaya. Abhinaya is immodest. The problem with uh, education is, and education is like any other administrator, is that he becomes immodest because of his education. And the first necessity in Vedanta is to forsake immodesty. Abhinayang Apana Vishnu, O the all-pervasive Vishnu, you please make me modest. The first necessity is to have modesty in Vedanta. And you find this type of modesty in Professor Esar Bhatt. When he was giving us this lecture, I found this rare, rare modesty in his lecture. You talk of all round knowledge, talk of all this, but the first necessity is modesty that you have no knowledge that you are a great scholar. You should not be immodest about that. You, the edu this education which about which we are speaking here is where the educationist or the man who is educated is never aware of his education. If you are aware of education, then that you are an educationist and, and you are going to educate others, that is a, becomes a sort of, uh, what shall I say, <laughs> you will, you will be failing in your, in your perspective or in, or in your goal. That is, an educationist should not have the feeling that he is educating others. If you have that feeling, then there will be no, no result of it. That's why 
in Vishnu Satpati, the first word is Abhinaya Nopanaya Vishnu, Samaya Vishnu Mruga Krishna, Putadayang Vistara, Tara, Samsara Sagarata. So, Kant Kati Kanta Koste Putra, Sansar Uyangativa Vichitra. You should not feel that you are educating others when you are an educationist. And I have found this in Prabhupada Sarbhat. He was referring to Tadvidhi Pranipatena Pari Prasnena Sevaya Upadekhanti Dhyanam Dhyani Nastatva Darsena. And you, 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 can, you can actually educate others when you are least aware that you are an educationist. This awareness is very difficult to have. But I, I, I am I'm always aware that I am having this what I say? This achievement I am in my back. And if we are aware of this achievement, we do not achieve our purpose. <laughs> Sir, earlier your voice was quite audible, but not now. Now. In our lifetime, we find that I have found 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 that Two days. And my father, my mother, and all others. Bosun said it is not clearly audible. Bosun said it is not clearly audible. To understand that and to stay there. Hello, Basant sir. Sir, it is not clearly audible at all. Sir, please help. Sir, please help sir to speak clearly. Basant sir. Basant sir. Basant sir. Basant sir. Bosun sir, sir is not audible. Bosun sir, उन्हें sir phone करों दो, phone करों दो, तो उनको तो कैमरे से डाल दिले ठीक सुबुचे। Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Guru is said to be the Brahma, Vishnu and Maheshwar taken together. She oh. again, I'll give you a chicken. Pramod, 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 Pramod. Oh, <laughs> there is some technical problem here that is creating problem. We have been very much benefited by Sir Bhatt Sahib because there was no preparation quite a lot. Is a pocket in the one? Guru Guru is supposed to Subhuchita Guru Guru Divas Guru and this Guru Divas is being celebrated after Radha Krishna's birthday. And we have been fortunate enough to be in the company of one of our greatest gurus, Prabhupada Sarabhat Sahab. 
हेलो बोस्टन सर कोई प्रॉब्लम है ना माय पॉइंट इज वन वन शुड नॉट बी अवेयर दैट ही इज इंपार्टिंग नॉलेज टू अदर्स वन मस्ट नॉट बी इमोडेस्ट वन मस्ट बी मोडेस्ट है ना एंड इन गुरु दिवस we are we are learning this on this day we are how can i say now to get all the gurus here but my point is this that we not only learn through our gurus but through situations also and for example take the case of uh, take the case of our great kalidas who had found krishna in the clouds he says फ्रॉम वेदांत वट डज वेदांत टीचर्स वेदांत टीचर्स अस एट वी शुड नॉट बी इमोटेस्ट अभिनय अपने विष्णु समय विषय मृग तृष्णा पूजदया विस्तार तार संसार सागर काते कांता कस्ते पुत्र संसारो अतिव विचित्र कस्तम कोहम कुतायात तत्व चिंत जदिदात वेदांत टीचे सर्स दैट वी शुड नॉट बी इमोडेस्ट वी शुड बी मॉडेस्ट इन इन आवर लर्निंग इन आवर एंड इन आवर टीचिंग गुरु क्वेश्चन इज we can never pay back our debts to our gurus what we have learned from them what we have got from them we cannot pay back this is not possible at all the reason is we have and when we are speak we are, uh, what i was telling is that we not only learn from our gurus we also learn from our situations different situations <clears throat> that is which, which we find in abhudutas 24 gurus in simad bhagavat abhuduta learned from these gurus in different situations it am the disturbed 
এটা ডিস্টার্বেড আগে রইব কিন্তু আর তোর কোন ইচ্ছে রয়েছে আগে অবদুতার লার্ন ফ্রম ডিফারেন্ট সিচুয়েশনস সো হি উই উই নট অনলি লার্ন ফ্রম আওয়ার আওয়ার টিচারস ওয়ার সো লার্ন ফ্রম ডিফারেন্ট সিচুয়েশনস অবদুতার লার্ন ফ্রম 24 সিচুয়েশনস অফ হুইচ ওয়ান ওয়াজ দি পিঙ্গলা and one was the birds kaputa and kapuch the pingala vesya and so on so forth they, they are also our gurus we must take for granted and our father and mother they are our gurus from whom we have learned from our childhood days. Yeah. So, we can never repay that. And even Kalidas, being a poet, one of our greatest poets, he has taught us to see Lord Krishna in the cloud. Because when the cloud messenger is being sent there it is said please you look at the sky look at the cloud and there you will find lord krishna's because when you will be reflected there you will find krishna's will find jena shyamam vapurati taram কান্তি মা কান্তি মা পচ্ছতে বরে নব স্ফুরিত রুচিনা কূপ বেশ লর্ড কৃষ্ণ ইন বিং রিফ্লেক্টেড ইন দি ক্লাউড সো উই লার্ন ফ্রম সিচুয়েশন সোর্সো সো লার্নার শি লার্ন ফ্রম এভ্রিথিং education educationist if he is proud of his education then he cannot teach others a teacher is must be modest enough that he is a teacher and this modesty i have found in professor sarbhat and he has taught us today that that education should not only inform us it should also transform us but uh, this transformation if it at all happens it also goes with pride but that should not be pride in an educationist that he is a teacher teaching should be free from pride uh, and that i have found in professor sarbhat sahab he is you, you have heard him speak he is a, an all round thinker but and, and he has referred to bhagavad gita also tad vidhi pranipatena pari prashnena sevaya upadekhanti de gyanam gyanina sattva darsana he has referred to education as transformation but you find himself free from any pride of education
But when we, we talk of education, we talk of something which we have, others don't have. But it is not so. It is actually reminding others of our capacities. That's all. <laughs> you should remind others of their capacity. Education is should remind us of this capacity. And Acharya Shankar therefore said, Abhinayam Aponaya Vishnu, Samayam Vishnu Bhagatushna. And Vedanta should not be confused with monism. Satya bhi bheda apagame natha tavaham na mamaki nastvam. Satya bhi bheda apagame tavaham na mamaki nastvam. There is no bheda between Jiva and Brahman, but at the same time, Jiva belongs to Brahman. Brahman does not belong to Jiva. This distinction also is there. So the difficulty with education is that the education is things that is different from the uneducated. But he must know that he is one of us. And Vedanta teaches us Sarvam Khaluvidam Brahma. Everything is Brahman. Everything is spirit or spiritualized. And that alone Vedanta can speak. And that we find in Srimad Bhagavat in 11th canto where there is this Avadhuta and 24 Gurus are being spoken of. And this Bhagavat education I have learned from my childhood days because of my father. Every day I learned Bhagavata, Bhagavata through my father's blessings. There I learned this. And and I now pay my regards to all of you who have made it possible. Pramodas. Huh? Professor Pramodas and others who are present here, my old students and friends and my present Guide. Ananya. Ananya. Of course. Ananya and, and Babu and Ankur. All others who have made it possible for me to speak. But Vedanta, first thing in Vedanta is do it that we must eradicate this feeling of difference between education and those who are not educated. There is this pride 
which is in the mind of an educated person, that he is an educated person, that he is going to educate others. And this pride does not allow us to educate others. They remain separate from That's why mana po mana yos tullo, tullo mitrari pakkaro, as Gita says. Shukha dukhe samay krutya, labha labhu jaya jayo. And our Prime Minister, while giving his advice to great sportsmen on one day here said that you should not be enamored by your success and should not be depressed by your failure. This is Bhagavad Gita. Mana apu mana yos tullyo, tullyo mitrari pakkho. Don't allow failure to enter your mind and don't allow success to be heavy on your soul. This is Bhagavad Gita. That's why Lord Krishna has been taken as Jagad Guru. Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kamsa Chanura Mardhanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Bande Jagad Guru. Krishna has taught us to kiss on Udvijnamana Sukhiya Sukhigata Sura Vita Raga Bhaya Krodha Chitta Dheri Muni Ruchyate this is the actual culture, actual introduction of an educated person. This education, we are talking of this education as Pora Vidya. By giving the name of Pora Vidya, we are making it separate as if it is something separate from, separate from our day-to-day -day life. That's why we are making a difference between para and opera. Technical education is different from this, but the nature of living which has been taught us by our Shastras is actually nothing but Parabhidya. And this we get not only through our philosophy books, but also from our day-to-day -day life, which we find in Srimad Bhagavat 11th canto, where Avadhuta says that I have got my education from 24 Gurus. <coughs> Avadhuta and 24 Gurus. Avadhutar gets his lesson from these gurus, which he has accepted as guru. So on Guru Divas, we should not only remember the those teachers who have taught us in the universities, our classes, our schools, but the situations from which we have learned.
they do are those are also our guru. We have learned from those situations. That's why I see this. Guru Parampara or this learning, not only in schools, in classes, in universities, but also in our day-to-day -day life. We take, we get this learning that a rich man Oh, that Pingala was a prostitute. He learned it from the, teach, from the rich person. What does it mean that the rich person did not reach him in time? And he, she got the education of detachment from this situation. That's why I said situations are also our guru guru. Not only particular teachers, they are our guru surely, but the situation also teaches us. The situation happened in case of those birds. One after the other they died. From this our daughter learned that you should not be too much attached. You should be free from the attachment. That has, that has been taught to us in Srimad Bhagavat, 11th century, where Abhudhuta has learned from these birds. Birds have not taught them they are not teachers, but he has learned from those situations. Pingala, the prostitute, has not learned, has not taught, but the the I mean I mean the a rich man himself, the rich man who was his client. He has not taught Pingala, but Pingala has learned from the situation that you should not be so much attached to the to your client. Let him be your client, but you should not be so much attached to the client that you will lose your patience. So Pingala becomes the Guru. This we find mostly clarified in Bhavana Yoga of Bhavana Yoga of the Jainas. In Jaina Achara we learn how in our day-to-day -day life, by auto-suggestion, we can get rid of these situations where we get entangled by our attachment or by our attachment and this is being taught to us by Bhavana Yoga of Jainism. That which we learn from the Bhagavad Gita.
उपदेखते जे ज्ञान ज्ञानी न सत्यदर्शी नैट इज वाय इट इज सेड नई ज्ञान न सदृशन सब बड़े पक्षे बस आगे मो मुह देख तुम मुह देख चाहू तुम सब बड़े पक्षे बस तुम मो तुम इन्सपिरेसन सोर्स अफ इन्सपिरेसन तुम बस पक्षे आओ तुम कौन तुम रियाक्शन हो देखा चाहू तुम तो सियार कह इमोडेस्टी so called educated person is immodest immodest he thinks that others are uneducated that is always there in his mind but but how can you a rich man thinks that he is rich and others are poor and a rich man who knows that he is a mere instrument for social benefit he alone can do immense good to the society this is actually taught by jaina acharya who is they have got from bhagavad gita actually in bhagavad gita there is the that you should should not be too much attached to your success or too much depressed by your failure do ke sunit bigna mana sukhi se bigata spra and should we So this, the real, really educated person is one who has no such feeling that he is educated, and others are uneducated. And there is something to learn. Go on, the kuch mutamati ka agar mosa mohon dekhi ki, mutam thau, mutam isman thau, to tumhe agmu chaliye sir. अभी तो मुंह देखा मुख्य में आई हैव नेवर बीन आई हैव नेवर बीन हैबिचुएटेड टू टॉक टू सम बॉक्स आई आई हैव बीन हैबिचुएटेड टू टॉक टू ह्यूमन बीइंग्स दैट हैज क्रिएटेड प्रॉब्लम फॉर मी दिस इज अ प्योरली प्रॉब्लम फॉर मी बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस So, Gita starts teaches us that we should not be carried away by our success and failures. But success and failures lie heavy on the mind of educated persons. So, so-called educated man is not really. educated from this point of view in the bhagavad gita Krishna that's why says to Arjuna that you should be free from these successes and failure such in this feeling of success and failure and that is our 
what is that? Para vidya actually. So the feeling that para vidya is something outside is wrong actually. Para vidya is something which we learn in our day to day life. Uh, and we are not carried away by ordinary success and failure. So once again, I pay my gratitude to all of you, to this philosophy family and Professor Sar Bhatt, who has given us a completely wholesome education, which is based on our Shastras, including Bhagavad Gita, and all our friends and students. Now, Vedanta teaches us that the, our outward form is not enough, that in our outward form, we appear to be such and such, but we are actually nothing but spirit, spirit itself, that is Brahman. That is why Vedanta teaches us, Sarvam Kharuvidam Brahma. All this is Brahman. All this is spirit, thereby it teaches us spiritualism everywhere. So, once again I give my thanks to Professor Bosundas. I have been through eh? Prabhu, Prabhu, Professor Bosundas, who has arranged this lecture for me. And Professor Pramod Das is at the back of this entire situation. Not only this philosophy family, and they have been made it possible for me to be with my old friend Professor Esar Bhatt, who is who is a great not only a great scholar, he is a great spirit, spiritualist. And this spiritualism means here nothing but going beyond spirit and matter. This going beyond or transcendence is a something, a great achievement in our Indian scholarship. Transcendence. That is both transcendence and immanence as it were. And that makes it very difficult to, to transmit our knowledge to the others, unless he is one of us. That's why, as Professor S. Arbat said, we trans the transmission is done from from guru to shishya in it cannot be transmitted. That's why I have been I was being disturbed by this mechanical arrangement where I was finding 
pure this a box being put before me and I was talking to a box as it were where whereas I had been habituated to talk to human beings and if some of them are called my students some of them um, them are called my teacher but they are all spirits and the spiritual training is very important for us so thank you once again i'm sorry if there is some interruption here this is because I was searching, I was searching for real Vedantin. And Professor Basandas and others, and Professor Sarbhat, who is here. Yes, I never expected to meet him. Now I have met him because of you all. And I congratulate all my friends here who have made a family of philosophers. And this family of philosophy is supposed to give us knowledge of true philosophy, which is beyond dualism. And we find Tadviddhi pranipatena pari prasnena sevaya upadekhyanti de dhyanam dhyanena stata darsina. Tadviddhi pranipatena pari prasnena sevaya, about which Rav Sarasar Bhatt has mentioned in the beginning, that you learn this by, because of Guru Shishya Parampara. It is not done, Guru Shishya Parampara. The Avadhuta was talking this to Jaduraja. Remember this in Srimad Bhagavat. There was a one a sort of one-to-one -one discussion. Avadhuta was talking to Jaduraja. He no longer being no longer being is it being transmitted or not? Uh -huh. The, the, this is a one-to-one -one relationship or, the, or in the words of our is a I, I, I thou relationship huh? I and thou otherwise if there is no I and thou relationship there cannot be philosophy actually this is the Aida relationship. Jadhut was being in between Jaduraja and Avadhut. So philosophy ultimately becomes Aida relationship. And where we learn everything, but at the same time we learn that knowledge is beyond this information, mere information. That's why, that's how there can be transformation. And unless there is transformation, this knowledge does not become philosophy. This does not become philosophy. It does not become Brahmadhyana. It this does not become Parabhidya. So thank you for giving me this opportunity. I thank all of you, this philosophy family, and also Professor Vasandas and others who have made it possible, because in this mechanical is this is possible. But I was impressed by our Prime Minister's teaching of philosophy indirectly on ours to our sportsmen when <laughs> One of our sportsmen was feeling depressed 
that he could not get the medal, the Prime Minister taught him or her, I don't remember exactly, that maybe some, what is the name? Dutisan. Non Dutisan. That was long back. Dutisan, the case is a, another case <laughs> where uh, somebody has been taken to task for going to jail. You are rather misleading me, sir. Uh, the information wrong. Long back, when some of our spokesmen was unhappy and felt depressed that he could not get the medal for which he was. It is not Dutishan. Dutishan's case is a recent case where Dutishan has taken somebody to task some for giving wrong information. No, no, some sportsman could not get the medal and he was, along with others, who had been congratulated by Prime Minister. And Prime Minister told him that you should not take your success to your brain, nor should you be depressed, feel depressed when you are deprived of some deprived of some medal. That is the failure. And what was this but Bhagavad Gita? Ah. When Bhagavad Gita teaches, Lord Krishna teaches, you should not mana po mana yustulyo. Tulya mitrari paksho sarvarambha parityagi gunati kasta gochate. You should be gunati about which Professor Bhatt was speaking also today. You should go beyond the gunas, the gunas. And here the Prime Minister was teaching Bhagavad Gita directly or indirectly to our sportsmen. Because Bhagavad Gita is applicable whether it is in sports field or in the teaching career or anywhere or in, in our offices also and so on and so forth. See, that is why Krishna is regarded as Jagat Guru. Mana po mana yostulyo tulya pitrari pakyo sarbarambha palityagi gunati and that's why Krishna is regarded as Jagat Guru. And no media te brabhapuse. Tadidamba gunja batansa pani pichara san mukhaya. Banda sade kawara vetra vishana de. Lakvasri e vodipade vashpanda de. One who is a Gopalaka can also become a philosopher, greatest philosopher. That is Lord Krishna. He was Goparaka and also he was the greatest philosopher of our country. That is most important point. How can you be a Goparaka? That's why this shloka is very important. That Lakmasri Mudupadei Pasupanvadaya. Thank you very much. Once again, my thanks to all of you and also my gratitude to Professor S. R. Bhatt for being with us and teaching us the essence of philosophy, which is very difficult to digest, I should say, because here there is not only involvement, but at the same time detachment. How can you have involvement and detachment at the same time? This is a very important question which cannot be discussed within one hour or two hours. That is why Gita cannot be taught so easily. And Sri Krishna therefore God had to teach all these in the word field 
and we have got Gita in so many chapters. You, you, be, you should be involved and at the same time detached. And that I found in the teaching of our Prime Minister for the first time in India, where Prime Minister told our great sportsmen to be both involved and detached. In, involved because they should own what we have, but at the same time detachment. And Professor S.R. Bhatt has taught us today the same thing. Thanks, Professor Kosandas, for giving this opportunity. I can't, uh, it, it, it is beyond my, uh, beyond my capacity to pay my regards to all of you and, and pay my gratitude to my late father and mother who are no longer with me, who have made it possible for me to come to this world and learn the lesson of Bhagavad Gita because of my coming to this world through my great father and mother who are no more, who are no more, who are no more from this point of view. But my, I find them in the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita. And, and the, the friends who were there all around us, they, they thank you very much. Thank you. Now, Rasavu. <coughs> Thanks so much, sir. We are grateful to Professor Nayaka for a very wonderful speech. And uh, he has uh, rightly harped upon modesty. The dead person has to be modest, otherwise uh, uh, he would be illiterate in fact. Uh, he also very rightly pointed out that uh, para and apra are not separate, they are distinguished, but they are not to be separated. We also, show Prishad uses this, both are to be taken together in simultaneity and uh, uh, most important thing that uh, Professor Nayak has pointed out is that uh, we can learn from each and every table. Um, Jawaharlal Nehru wrote uh, an essay, uh, what a small pebble can teach us, small stone can, uh, birds also teach us, trees also teach us. We learn from each and every item of the cosmos. So, uh, everybody is a teacher, whole universe is a teacher. And, um, and learning is a lifelong process from uh, uh, each and everyone. So we are thankful to Professor uh, Nayaka for a very wonderful, at the same time, enlightened uh, speech. Thank you. Over to the organizers now to conclude. Okay. Now, hello, Dr. Rao is there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, please invite our teacher, Professor uh, Agonis Prasadas and others yes, uh, yes, yes, to yes, have yes. some observation. Yes, yes. At first, I would like to uh, request Professor uh, uh, Ganesh Prasad Das, sir, to uh, make some observations or uh, to say a few words uh, uh, in philosophy family. Go to Professor Ganesh, sir. Well, uh, he, he is not there. He has left, I think. He is not there. Ganesh, sir, is not there. Okay, anyway, uh, Ganesh sir is not there, well, um, uh, if, well, um, uh, there is no interaction actually for both the sessions, we don't have any interaction, but if somebody wants to uh, uh, make some observation in few lines, in one or two minutes, they can uh, unmute themselves and uh, they can make observations in one or two minutes, yes, yeah. Professor Goes, Professor Goes. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, so um, uh, thank you, uh, I must thank Professor Naik for uh, uh, giving uh, his version of Guru Tattva, 
but uh, I have marked his anguish that the spirituality of being is not found in the mechanical way of expressing oneself. But that is the situation right now. There is no direct one-to-one -one contact between the teacher and the student. I would rather say, like Sarp, as Sir said, that man is condemned to be free. We are now condemned to be virtual. So, <laughs> condemned to be virtual. Because, because, but uh, th there is another positive aspect of this sort of virtual mode of uh, connecting with others. Because uh, what I personally found, we are connected with so many professors throughout uh, India. And in, uh, this is this type of pan Indian situation is normally not found in organizing a seminar and uh, calling some people uh, and uh, excluding others. So, but uh, what I have said that the spirituality of experience between uh, the teacher and the student is uh, missing here definitely. True, thank, true, you, true, true, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Thank you for your observation, sir. If anybody uh, wants to uh, speak something, uh, they are welcome. Um, they can unmute. I'll, I'll be waiting for half a minute um, before we. Uh, well, 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 uh, uh, I won't take more time, as you said, uh, I'm, ju I'm just reminding, uh, 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 I'm just reminding, 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 i this is all mechanical problem. Mechanical problem is creating problem for me. Uh, so once again, once again, I'm, I'm I'm expressing my gratitude to be the student of Professor Bhatt and Professor Jc Naik. Uh, uh, I'm not going to the details because both the deliberations were excellent, and we have learned many things to learn from both the deliberations. Only one thing I'm just remembering, I mean, spontaneously, I remembered a conversation in 1989 at Delhi University PG Department of Philosophy. One fine morning when Professor G.C. Naik was a visiting professor to our university and Professor Bhatt was the uh, head of the department that time and uh, three Odia students uh, from Utkal University, we are the student at Delhi University, and we were uh, 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 having chit chat uh, with Professor Naik. And Sir was uh, amusingly, uh, I mean, discussing few things. And he was literally uh, uh, trying to say a little bit uh, kind of lecturing things that how you are so loyal to your Sir, Professor Bhatt. And Professor Bhatt said uh, very nicely that Professor Naik, because we were talking in Oriya, and Professor get what whatever he could gather from our conversation, he said, Professor Naik, don't say anything to these three girls. I mean, whatever you taught them, this is the conduct they are showing in front of me today, in front of Delhi University, I mean, this classroom. So what is what you have taught them, that is that, that uh, right now I can I can remember the way Professor Bhatt was giving the di uh, distinction between Guru and Acharya. The Acharan is that which has been taught by you and which is being shown in front of others, which is reflected in their conduct. So, uh, I mean, this is what I am today and I am really, I am really blessed to be your student, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Once again, pranam to all of you. This is what I wanted to tell in front of the August gathering. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you, uh, Dr. Barik. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Now I request uh, uh, Professor Pramod Das. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Professor Pramod Das. Thank you, madam. Uh, okay. Now I request Pramod Das. Uh, our admin uh, to speak something. 
before we close this uh, uh, webinar. Professor Das, would you like to speak something? Really, it was wonderful and a very beautiful talk by Professor Nayak. Um, I, we all appreciate and we are all grateful for his profound thought. Uh, the greatness of a great man uh, is that, that while Professor Nayak was speaking, he was so much cordial to his co-speaker and by that uh, he uh, we we all feel that he uh, that he transcends transcends uh, everything and being that he has also the sense of modesty sense of uh, cordiality for the co-speaker that uh, that uh, that we, we 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 really learned it because we we many times many many times at many places we we have we experience that the, there lies a very hidden competition between the speakers or between the participants or between the uh, between any uh, that is a common experience but sir said that a true educated person should be very cordial should be modest should be egoless should be prideless and should have the learning attitude so the uh, really educated person should have the learning attitude to the extent of learning from the nature that the situation not only the teacher and scripture but also we should learn from every moment of our life from every situation of our life and he gave very good examples of uh, uh, from our scriptures that is how he um, uh, simplified uh, the process of learning and teaching. Uh, so it, um, uh, there, is a, there is a clear cut distinction he made having education and being educated. We all have education, so called education, but the real crisis is that we are, we are not really educated. As in the Bhagavad Gita, um, 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 Professor Nayak has told many times that a bhakta does not know that he is a bhakta, the karmi does not know that he is a karmi, the jnani does not know that he is a jnani. Similarly, an educated, an, an educated person should not be aware of his education, should not, be, should not be aware of the fact that he is educated and there should not be any discrimination between the educated and uneducated. That I am the privileged person, that I, 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 I am educated and I am different from the others who are uneducated. So, that is the uh, profundity of uh, his talk, that is, the, that is his submissiveness, that is the great thing that we learn from Professor Knight, that every situation is our teacher, every experience is our teacher, every feeling is our teacher. Everybody, every part of this nature is our teachers. So that is an extension to the talk of the Thank you, uh, Professor Das, for uh, briefly summarizing the entire talk of uh, uh, Professor Nayak very nicely. Thanks for your contribution. If last, uh, uh, well, we have uh, Basant Kumar Das, he was assisting uh, Professor Nayak. Basant, sir, would you like to say something? Because you are the man, uh, you, are, you, are, you are the technical support to uh, Professor Nayak 
Uh, would you like to say something on this day? Professor Das, uh, Professor Basant Kumar Das, would you like to say something? Well, uh, well, 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 uh, I don't find him. Uh, well, it, well, so over to, uh, I don't find anybody uh, um, um, wanting to speak anything. If anybody wants to speak something, they can uh, unmute themselves and uh, uh, make their observations. I'll wait for half a minute. Well, anyway, well, uh, let, let's move to uh, Professor. Yes, no, yes, yes. Now moving to um, uh, Professor Kalyas Mahana, sir, for carrying on the further proceedings. Yes, Over to uh, I have nothing to say, sir. Actually, we are really blessed uh, with the presence of two eminent uh, teachers of our country. They have, uh, they have honored us with their presence, with their talk, with their motivation and influence. I again offer my gratitude to both the speakers, to both the teachers, the more of teachers. and with this, may I request uh, uh, Dr. K. Omnanan Rao sir to propose a vote of thanks to both the speakers and the persons those have put their observation on this August occasion. Over to Dr. Rao. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. Maharana. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank uh, Professor uh, S.R. Bhatt sir for accepting our invitation and uh, delivering his lecture on this very great day. He, just did. he was uh, uh, trying from his BGP schedule and tried to address this very good day. We seek blessings from you, sir, and we want more and more lectures from you, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for your very nice lecture. Your lecture has showed how a teacher should be like it's not just just, um, uh, uh, just that uh, um, a teacher has a responsibility of teaching he has various other aspects the emotional aspect the spiritual aspect uh, that the teacher should also reflect on so that he can emerge as a better teacher a good human being the teacher must be a good human being first that is the message that i see you may be a good teacher, but the good teacher doesn't mean that you are able to communicate well to the students. A good teacher should have in him an element of uh, uh, understanding the emotion of the students to whom you teach. The teacher, a good teacher is one who descends down to the level of the students so that the students understand what the teacher is saying. No doubt the teachers want, uh, the, the students want to learn from the teacher, but in making the teaching learning process complete, the teacher has to descend down to the level of the students, understanding the emotion, understanding the sentiments, understanding the condition, understanding the situation in which the learning, teaching and learning process is being carried on. And I have seen Professor Bhatt using this technique, he is very much emotional, he is very honest man. I have, uh, I have I had I have taken his class. I have, I have studied under him. I have learned under him. He was very much cordial. He is very much cordial. And and today too, we could see him. Even though uh, he is so much experience, he has a lot of experience in him. There is no ego in him. He says, "I want to learn from you all." So this shows uh, the humbleness. That this shows uh, how a teacher, how great he may be, still he wants to learn from all others. So this is the mark of quality of a very good teacher. I know Professor Bert personally and have uh, studied from him, but still he says before the platform that he's still wishing to learn. So this is it should be the real quality of a teacher. Uh, with all respect, with all folded hands, I um, seek your blessing, sirs. Uh, philosophy family is very much indebted to you, sir. So thank you very much, sir, for your presence, for your lecture on this very auspicious day. Uh, thank you very much, sir. I also thank Professor G.C. Naik, sir, who is at the age of 86, but still so much committed to academics. You see the commitment. Such things don't come from every man. Well, we may be, we don't know how long we survive, but you see the attitude in Professor Naik, he is so much committed. Even though the platform, the virtual meeting is new to him, but still he is trying to adjust, he is trying to communicate as best as possible all forgetting the situations, all forgetting the conditions in which he is, he, is, he wants to communicate. And so nicely he has talked of uh, the socialization and building, building uh, uh, bringing an element of uh, um, uh, spirituality in socialization process. So what he talked of is a sort of 
uh, spiritual socialization that what i could see in his lecture so very nicely done sir and you are the source of inspiration to all the members in philosophy family thank you very much sir for your lecture for uh, and also for guiding all of us so i should also thank professor ranjit ghosh sir for always being connected with philosophy family for making his observations and also showing us the way thank you very much sir and also thankful to um dr Sra um, um subhasini Bar barik madam for making her observations and also i'm thankful to uh, sravani misra and all others who are uh, professor sesadri and all others who uh, expressed their um, views they uh, made some observations on this uh, on the talks of professor bhat and professor uh, gc nax sir so and also thank all the participants for being connected um, virtually uh, in the meeting of philosophy family so thank and also thank our admin professor pramod kumar das who not only he is the admin he also uh, tried to make a brief summary of both the talks and very nicely has done uh, uh, both the, um, um, the talks of both the speakers uh, he tried to summarize and very beautifully has done that so i should also thank him Prof uh, professor pramod das for the involvement in philosophy family it is because him that all the activities could be carried on so nicely so, and, uh, and finally i should thank professor basan das for uh, making um, 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 uh, bringing um, professor gc naik to the virtual platform because he is new to this sir was saying i have i have the experience of talking to human beings i don't have experience of talking to the box so so that is something painful to professor Na uh, professor naik but professor basan das could uh, arrange this virtual meet and uh, we are happy to um, uh, to listen to professor naik i was never a student of uh, professor naik in the classroom but through the virtual meetings i have learned a lot from professor naik thank you very much sir so i also thank all the also thank dr kailash chandra maharana our coordinator for introducing both the guests today and uh, also taking part in the uh, entire webinar so i thank professor kailash chandra maharana sir and also uh, at the last I, i would like to thank all the participants for making this webinar so successful thank you everybody so thanking all I, i would like to thank once again the speakers my teacher professor sr bhat and also professor gc naik for making this webinar so successful thank you very much sir happy teachers day to all of you once again sir let every day be a teachers day i i suppose that way not that a single day we treat as a teachers day let every day be a teachers day thank you very much sir Dr. Rao, I, I, I would say only one sentence. Yes, sir. Let, yes, sir. Carry on. Uh, let noble thoughts come to us from every side. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now over to um, Professor um, Pramod Kumar Das for declaring the meeting closed. Namaskar, everybody. One second. Now I shall I uh, I shall declare the meeting closed after saying one sentence. about dr bhot and dr jc naik sir uh, we we learned today uh, the art of delivering a talk from dr bhot <coughs> actually uh, how uh, one should speak so humbly and we learned from dr professor naik the art of appreciation that the way he was appreciating dr bhot and the organizers and even his uh, granddaughter uh, ananya um, when he he had the sense of he has, he has an attitude of gratitude uh, if even for the very little things that greatness uh, is with him so we are really grateful to both uh, professor bhot and professor naik uh, with this uh, we seek uh, your blessings sir uh let uh, this family will flourish this family will grow and glow uh, um, by your blessings thank you thank you everybody we are really grateful to you we shall invite uh, dr professor bhot again and again with new topics and i hope uh, that uh, professor bhot will agree to come and he is also a member of our family uh, thank you thank you everybody now the meeting is closed Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.